So there's the seven or the six tooth drive uh, fitted on, and what I've done is I've kept the same chain length just so I could get more wrap on the six tooth sprocket um, because, well, I'd rather have four teeth engaged than uh, three or less than three. So I've just scalloped a little bit out of the chain tensioner because it, otherwise it fouls on the shaft. Uh, I was just getting this uh, all together yesterday and it was done and I set it to the uh, the calibrate when this thing let the smoke out of her. Um, that's the three phase rectifier six diodes there. Uh, one of those has failed. They are marginal. I think that one's failed. Can't see through the viewfinder. Um, uh, I'm guessing that puts extra stress on here and that's got hot. But as you can see that's the whole wire. That's very marginal. So I've had to make up a bigger one. So I've done this out of 6 amp diodes. Uh, so that will that will do it. Get that insulated now and uh, pop that in. So we've got the three phases in on that and the uh, positive and negative out. So that feeds into the PWM controller for the field. So that fits in there. Um, the dial I'm just going to uh, have a baggie on there for insulation. Pop that in because that's set now. Um, and I, I'm not going to adjust that on the fly, that's quite well optimised. Uh, and there's the business end. So this was blooming fitted and I thought it was going to work. I was going to take it out yesterday, so it uh, didn't quite happen. Um, so a couple of niceties. We've fitted the... Uh, if I can get that to show. There you go. So that's all ready to go. I won't turn the throttle because that's live. <laughs> Uh, with no field on it, so it'll just make horrible noise. Right, let's get this thing back together and uh, uh, take her out for a spin later.